poem to the Navagrahas. The Navagrahas hold our world together. The fire, wind, and water that we call weather from deepest caves to the farthest regions nether are all threads in the fabric that they weave. In spite of what we think or may believe, cause and effect return before they leave. Janardana, Sri Vishnu, holds the scale, the mast of every ship that lifts its sail, while we create the winds that will prevail. The chariot we build and every horse we train awaits our command to know the course, but the grahas hold the map to joy or remorse. So until we yield the reins to Bhagavan, until the illusion of who we are is gone, the Navagrahas force us to keep moving on. They are the avatars of the Vishnu avatars, celestial guardians moving across the stars, directing the traffic of these bodies that are our cars. And now Surya. Om Surya, the primal lamp, the cosmic eye, shining with light from beyond the darkened sky. Brahman, the realm where nothing and no one can die. Great Arka, the archetype of all that exists. Immortal lamp, whose rays disperse all mists. Projector of an immortal truth that always persists. Savitri, the mother of life, whose living rays turn the wheels of time as nights and days, whose husband Ravi sets the world ablaze. Tejas, the force that turns the galactic wheels, Ritam, the changing seasons, each being feels Vishnu, the balance point of countless reels, Yama, the final judge of karmic conclusion, Kala Chakra, whose mouth devours illusion, Indra, whose flashing Vajra destroys delusion, O Vishvakarma, impeller of every action, Purusha, O person of ultimate satisfaction, Bhagavan, O source of all attraction. Om Chandra, bright candle who illumines the night, lamp in the shadows, the promise of delight, gently flowing soma, the nectar of light, mother and nurse of all, whose sacred breast builds the home and weaves the sheltering nest, the pillow and bed that holds us when we rest, Soaring bird above the clouds who guides, queen of the oceans who ebbs and flows as tides, over the heartbeat and all the blushing brides, cornucopia, containing every treat, cauldron filled with all that is wholesome to eat, hive whose honey is the source of all that is sweet, consort of Surya, reflecting every place, blending with starlight in the purple vault of space, nakshatras standing, mansions of noble grace, for love is the final answer, forever and free, Chandra Vamsa, the secrets of ecstasy, the endless moods of love in eternity. Mangalaya, Om, courageous Mangalaya, protector, focused, intent, strategic, a skillful director, compelling, champion, energetic competitor, Bhumi Putra, Angaraka, child of the earth, here to clash, to collide and compel this birth, 
standing the field in battle and proving your worth. You are the fighter, combative with weapons and skill. Action speaks louder than words, and so your will drives you relentless for victory in battle. Oh, Mars, horses, and cars, do as you command, protector of women. So, oh, how they love your hand. And when all run or bow, you die with the sword in your hand. Troops of Kartikeya, you stand at the ready, unyielding and shielding the gentle. You always stand steady, focused on what must be done, not theories heady. O oh, flame of life, you burn in the belly and loins. You gamble not caring for approval, praise or coins. And honor is the only club Mangala joins. Buddhaya. Om, the clever and eloquent child of Chandra and Tara. Buddha, Buddhi, discernments of Tara, keeper of secrets and the cause and effect of samsara, neti neti, the details of all different views, live at five, Mercury broadcast the news, the programming language and manual of all that we use. It is Mercury of winged heels when we speak, the broadcast that carries the messages that we seek, the unseen programmers and everyone a geek, and never underestimate Buddha's perspicacity, ingenious analysis and endless curiosity, inside story comedian, and the secrets of publicity, clown at court, jester comedian, the fool, linguistically perfect, each word and grammatical rule, the facts, the data, but not the wisdom in school, translator, Mercury, the alphabet and grammar, Buddhi remembers the details, but never touched a hammer, the ultimate communicator and programmer. Brihaspati. Om Brihaspati, immortal spout of Brahman, you hold the keys to what it means to be human. You carry the immortal light that alone can illumine. Seer of all, you are the original Rishi. You see the mantras you hear and they give you drishti. Morality, perspicacity, legality, immortality, heavy with wisdom and davidya, you are the guru. Gravity, gravitas, judicial, all of these are you. Thoughtful, upright, unselfish, discerning, and true. Enlightened, conclusive, profound, clear-sighted acharya, noble, unbending, compassionate, the ultimate Aryan. Erudite, truthful, and servant of the Abhutara, O Guru, you are the intermediary, divine, teaching all the yoga of how to realign our true selves with beauty's original design. O Jupiter, Graha Raja, the moon and sun, bow to you and shine upon everyone, for you lead us home when this journey of learning is done. Shukra. Om Venus Shukra, ambassador, strategic, polite, courteous, artful, refined, and active at night. Asura Guru, a Brahmin yet opposed to the light, clever, proportionate, contriving, the keeper of style, conniving, discreet, envoy of cunning and guile, opportunistic, gracious, intrigue with a smile. Astute, crafty, diplomatic, scheming and sly, wily and subtle, shrewd, 
pretending to be shy, elegant emissary, unwilling to die, refined and congenial keeper of harmony, intrigued by affection and sexuality, addicted to pleasure, gossip, and ecstasy, go-between, psychologist, marketing emissary, public relations, suave linguist, intermediary, playing the field even if you appear to marry, wearing a mask, always subtle and scheming, symmetrical, visual, illusionary, discreet and dreaming, empty within, but the surface is always clean. Shanaischaraya. Om, son of Surya Shani, you are the static, laws of nature controlling the erratic rules and science until life is automatic. You are all the truths that are evident. Closest matter comes to being permanent. Therefore, your other name is impediment. You are the sun, gone cold through condensation. You are the rules, the laws, the stipulation, the entropy of time and degradation. You are the scientist seeking evidence. You are what obstructs and the common sense, the building's foundation and everything else that is dense. Oh, great architect, it is you who make the design and the entropy that causes all things to decline, the inevitable moment, the end to which we resign. Shanais Charaya, you manifest the impure, stuck in the ground, you support every structure, and you are the karma that is limping toward the future. Rahu. Om Rahu, you are the darkest hour of night, a shadow being. You always distort the light. And you have no stomach, just an endless appetite. Your twisted thoughts are insane, tainted, and corrupt. Your backward motion makes you disturb and disrupt. Born an Asura, you are heartless, uncaring, abrupt. You go too far and then become abusive. Your convoluted plots are so elusive. O oh, master of secrets, your whereabouts are exclusive. Your forward motion is everyone else's reverse. Your normal makes every other thing become converse. Your vrittis twist and turn until all is perverse. You cannot resist the allure of the fraudulent. Outside the laws of nature, you are impermanent and no one can ever trust your perverted intent. Your reputation is always notorious. Oh, Rahave, your way is so scandalous on either side where you live. It is treacherous. And always lastly, K2. Om Ketu, you are enigmatic and a mystic, cryptic, telepathic, and eccentric, seeing all. You are psychic and esoteric. You live in a cave deep underground, freedom-loving, the human spirit unbound all day and night. You live on sacred ground. Mysterious, your treasures are locked in secrecy. Your home is where you are in mendicancy and the treasure in your heart is privacy. Om, dragon's tail, the world thinks you are insane because you constantly dwell upon the arcane until your words remove their mortal chain. Inspiration, the fruit of renunciation, so humble, no one expects emancipation, O keeper, of the gate to liberation. You see the devas, 
So your words are enigmatic, esoteric, cryptic, and telekinetic, and you know our secrets because you are telepathic. Chai to the great Mahagrahas, servants of Vishnu, and masters of all who are Jyotishis. Adiyom Tatsat.